Hi, welcome everyone. In this, in this video, we will start with regression analysis in JMOV. And for that, the data is already loaded. Now, I will also show you at the end that how to handle panel data in JMOV. While uh, there is no such options available to, to do panel data. So, we will focus on first of all how to do regression and then go towards panel data. So, we we'll first of all load the data, it's already here, variable names, and it's a panel data country and here and the identification are already here. So, when you go in regression, go for linear regression, and here it will, you will have to select the dependent variable, so I selected one dependent, and my all other variables are quantitative, so I will select it as covariate. If any one of them is uh, not quantitative or ordinal or binomial, or multinomial, you have to select it as a weight. And, and so this is my variables. Now what I can do is I can go in model builder. Uh, the block is already here, no need to change. You can go in reference levels. There is no ordinal variable, so no need for reference level. Then assumption checks, you can check for R2 collinearity, multi collinearity, normality, QQ plots, residual plots, cook distance plot to check for diagnostics. In model fit, you can look for adjusted R, F test, AIC, SIC, RMSC. Then in model coefficients, you can look for no ANOVA and have a confidence interval. And, and then estimation marginal means if, if your variables you want to add some other method to calculate means, so you can show it here. And then if you want to see the output, you want to, you can see the cook distance data, predicted value data, and residual data in the uh, data file. So, since once they are generated, you can look for here. So, the R squared adjusted R are here, F test is here, the variables are here, and this is ANOVA. It will show you individually if the variables are significantly expanding the overall, and then these are their, their marginal effects, their p values, lower and upper limits. You can look for the cook distance and and the, the median and simulation, it, it shows how many. Uh, how many outliers are there, if there are outliers or not, and this is the promotion and it is significant for autocorrelation, and this is BIF. Uh, in panel data, we, we look for 10, but uh, in some books, it's 5, and at some other places, it is 2. This is not normal test, and saying it's not normal, and you can also look using this QQ plot that they are very different. Then if you look at residuals, so residual versus faded, there is a huge difference. So there is chance of a hard head through. Same goes here. Similarly here, some outliers are there, some outliers are here. So there is a chance of head through. Um, now, this, since the data was panel, but I didn't notify it anything to the software. So how we can do panel data? You, you select the country identifier and add it as a factor. So what will happen? The results will change. And then you, if you come down, you have a country dummy, and this makes these results fixed effect, and and then so it becomes a fixed effect when a data model. So this way you can estimate uh, regression in in JMOV. Hope you like this video, and hope you understood how to do uh, how to analyze. If you have any queries, you can share it in the comments. Thank you.